Oh, first time. Hey, both sauce are up, bro. Sauce are up. Oh, y'all know about the sauce? Okay. <laughs> would I be a fool if I told him that I love him? Would you think that I'm insane? To love a man who would never love me back and gets his pleasure from all of my pain? Would I be a fool if I waited for him to realize my worth? To realize that I have more to offer than thick thighs and tight holes beneath my skirt? Would I be a fool to tell him I love him when I know he just might not give a damn? Am I a fool because I believe I'll never be able to love another man like I love him? It took a lot of courage to write these words with paper and pen, to speak these words of hurt that I feel deep within. I know God is blessing, but let me do Better than him, and if I was saying, no competition. We're here at the restaurant right now. So we're here, and um, we just ordered, I got some little lamb with a side of mac and cheese. That's on its way because hers look really good and I got water, so <laughs> yes, so we're about to eat that and I'll put you up with that. H&M, but I did not know. I'm assuming it's like the second parking deck. So I didn't know that. Uh, I didn't know that H&M was at Atlantic Station, and I didn't know that. Atlantic Station had like all these different stores. So it's kind of like a. I guess it's kind of like a shocker, I guess. Because I didn't know anything about it. Um, the only thing I really knew that Atlantic Station had was uh, a Ferris wheel, I think. Because my roommate just keeps talking about this Ferris wheel. Um, but I didn't know it was like an actual like shopping plaza but anyways um yeah like they have a whole bunch of stores oh my god they got journeys they have old navy dsw it reminds me of uh i forgot what it's called but like the shops at redding in, in philly thank you thank you and um that's what it reminds me of. I'm looking really crazy. Um, anyways, today is the celebrity basketball game at Morehouse. I'm out of breath. <sighs> so today is the celebrity basketball game at Morehouse. And everything is going to be like, I don't know. But I know a lot of people want to be there. Cardi B. Mike will meet it, so I'm gonna record that for the vlog. Let me you know. Um, yeah. So since I didn't know that it was a whole lot of stores in, like inside Atlantic Station, I think I'm gonna just go to Old Navy, then I'm gonna go to. Uh, I don't even know where else. I know I definitely wanna go to H and M if I don't see that much in Old Navy. I don't even think they have an Old Navy in uh, what is it called? In Linux, they don't have an Old Navy in Linux, so this is nice. And they have a whole lot of like business casual stuff, like, but I don't even need it now. So that's a little bit interesting. All right, guys. So I just need something to wear for the basketball game. I went to uh, Lennox the other day and I got some stuff from Forever 21. I got like these fishnet stockings. 
and I wore them the other day. So like, I don't know, it's not really a point in, well, I'm not gonna wear it again. Like literally everybody saw me in it. And I thought the fishnet stockings were really cute though. So I guess it's like, it's like really tiny. There's not really a lot of stuff here. It's like a little small, wool navy. Anyways, um, I think I'm about to walk over to Journeys. Cause I don't really see anything. So I think I'm about to walk over to Journeys. I'm actually about to look up what other stuff they have here at Atlantic Station. So I'll see you guys in a minute. So I just left out of Journeys. I didn't see anything I liked. Um, but I really just need an outfit, like something cute to wear. I don't want to just look like anything at this at this uh this this game, you know? I might actually walk up and meet Davies, like so I cannot just be looking like anything. So I'm on my way into uh, DSW shoes. Hopefully they have like his shoes. I really guys, I'm gonna tell you. Okay guys, I was not recording that whole time. I'm so sorry. So basically, I'm so mad I wasn't recording, but basically, um Okay, I just got sidetracked. Basically what I'm saying is like they don't have it's like my reason for like wanting to actually start it is because every shoe store that I see, they don't have like heels and, and kid sizes. And if, if if they are, if they do have them, then they look like really like kiddish or like church heels and stuff. So that really bothers me too. That bothers me too, so. It's, and sometimes I feel like it's like really not a point in well, that cute and going to like shoe stores because I ain't gonna I'm not gonna I ain't gonna find I ain't gonna find nothing I ain't gonna find nothing like really cute in my size and it bothers me so much I just really want to create like my own shoe brand my own shoe line so um when I do you guys just remember that I did say that I was gonna do it I mean, minimum, I would have to get like a, like something like that, that style shoe. But I'm thinking more so, um, like a five or a three minimum. I should really pull it on my ass. It just really depends on the shoe. Like, I, I might can pull it off, but it depends on the actual style of the shoe. It's more so just like the length of it. I don't know. It really depends on the shoe. Alright guys. I'm going to actually try on like two pairs of shoes. Or like these shoes here. They're kind of cute. Let's see. What's, what's, what's good. Alright bye. Oh Alright so. I just left DSW. I just got some fish nets. That's about it. But instead of the black color that I had yesterday, I got like a like a new color fishnet. And right now I'm on my way to H and M. Oh, I forgot about Gap. I'm gonna go to H and M first because I know H and M got a lot more stuff. And then I have to walk back over here to get back to the car, so I could just stop at Gap on my way. Um. But it's pretty nice down here. It really reminds me. Of, I cannot. Oh, okay. So it's called the Philadelphia Premium Outlets. That's what it reminds me of. Like, it has all these stores in here. It has more. It has like Gucci, um, Michael Kors, and stuff like that in there. Forever 21 is inside the Premium Outlets. Um, yeah, it's a little different, but it's not that that different at all. I mean, they don't have Pandora in there though. So that's about it. 
go to H&M. And I'll have to like come back down here with my roommate next time because. First of all, she said she came. She came down here on Saturday. Well, yesterday with her, her aunt. And she said, it's nice down here. So I had to come down here. I didn't even know that H&M was down here. I thought it was like in Lenox or like down the street because it said it's like 20 minutes from my school. So I didn't know it was down here. And then I have on like this slip dress that just like keeps on rising up and it's bothering the hell out of me. All right guys, so the basketball game is like already starting. So I'm on my way back to campus right now because I couldn't find anything to wear. So um, Gabby and Aaliyah, I mean Gabby and uh, God, London are holding my seat right now. And they said like the line is all the way out the door, all the way back onto Clark campus from Morehouse campus. So I'm on my way because I did not expect, like, I've been here for, like, an hour and a half, I think. And I cannot find anything at all whatsoever. So, I'm just on my way back to the car and I'm just about to go. Because I can't find anything to wear. And then I still have to get in the shower. And I have to do my hair. But hopefully they're in line. Well, not, like, hopefully, but, like, I don't know. Hopefully they're in line for a little bit because... It's gonna take me like 20 minutes to get back to campus and like 40 minutes to get washed and dressed. So I already know this is about to be a hassle. Guess who's here? My baby baby, y'all. So my baby baby is here. It's official. The party has officially started. Like, that's what's my baby. So yeah, I just got here like, guys, when I say I was rushing like crazy, I was really rushing. Um, I was really like seriously rushing though. I went to Atlantic Station, I didn't see nothing. Like I didn't have nothing here. I went back to campus, washed up, and I just threw on what I had on already. And then I parked the car and then I just came across the street. Mind you, the line is all the way from Morehouse's thing all the way to, um, all, all the way back to our campus or whatever. So it was all the way, it's like really long, but I bust the line or whatever, cause they bust the line. And then, um, yeah, so here I am. But my baby baby, she's walking over here. I'm too Way too good. And take care. That's about it.
here. That was funny. I left the game at, during the beginning of halftime. Um, I just texted my seatmate and she said it wasn't really doing anything during halftime. I was kind of hungry, so I got something to eat. I could have got something from the concession stands as well. But, um, yeah, I don't think I'm going back to the game. It was, going, it was a good game, you know, great experience. But I have homework to do. And I'm tired a little bit, and I've been in kind of like a bad mood. I'm kind of like still in in a bad mood. I'm in a bad mood today, guys. Even yesterday, I was in a bad mood. I just wasn't really like feeling nobody's vibe. So, um, yeah. I'm not really feeling nobody's vibe. Guys, I'm about to use this as a talking session, so. Alright, guys, so. I'm like, alright. So, this is going to go in the vlog or whatever, but. I just feel like. People do the most. That's problem. People do the absolute most, guys. That's exactly how I feel. I just feel like people do the most. I ain't feeling nobody's vibe. Guys, let I'm, 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 me just talk, okay? Alright, for the past two days, I've been feeling, like, really down. Like, really, like, low-key sad. Because a lot of stuff are, like, is, like, coming to my attention. 
and it's really it's really unfortunate like people are okay people could be really mean sometimes okay and that's just real stuff like people could be mean ignorant disrespectful hateful and i just don't understand how and i've never been able to understand how how could you be so how how could you be mean rude disrespectful hateful to another human being like you someone who has the same 24 hours as you it just don't make sense to me there's absolutely no reason you should be hating off another person period and I don't even know where this is coming from but it's just how I'm feeling at this moment and um yeah when I was younger I'm saying like I'm old or something but I'm only 18 but when I was younger I'd say like 14, 15 13 could be in there too I uh, I learned my lesson with a lot of things a lot of people, a lot of things when it comes to friendships and relationships like romantic relationships and um you know not really family relationships during that time i think i learned that like 2016 and mainly this year too about family relationships but a word of advice for you guys don't let people walk over you because they have a title because they're aunt uncle mom dad cousin sister best friend like you know don't allow people to walk over you and a lot of people will take advantage of you if you if they know that you have a soft spot for them they'll use that to their own advantage and that's not cool I just dropped my fry in my ice that's not cool at all and don't allow it don't accept it don't deal with it don't settle for it Cause you can, you can, you can, you deserve more. Period. I don't even know you. I don't know you guys personally, but everybody deserves more than somebody who just there to be there or who wants you around for your convenience. It's like it's pointless to really like. What's the point? What do you like? I just don't understand people. And it's not even just that. It's just the fact that. I'm just like all over the place, guys. When I look at this, I'm gonna be like, what the hell am I talking about? But mm -hmm. I just really feel like, feel like people got life messed up. I'm over people. Guys, all right, let me say this. One thing I really learned since I've been here in Atlanta, well, this year period, is that. I don't know man if people want you in their life they will keep you in their life but you have to differentiate between people who want you there and who who just like who genuinely i'm gonna say this who genuinely want you there in their life and people who just want you to be there because people of the stuff are so heartless don't have no like type of like good bone in their body and it's really unfortunate it's really sad I really feel bad for people like that. And you gotta pick pick up the ones who don't want you around genuinely and throw them away. Like it's it's I don't wanna say it's that simple, but it's kinda that simple. If they don't genuinely want the best for you, girl, you better leave them. But drop them like some ice, drop them like a hot potato. Cause they don't love you. Like they say they love you. If the actions don't match the words, they gotta go. Flick, like you gotta just poof, be gone. Like that's how you gotta be because why would you want someone in your life who doesn't genuinely give a freak about you, who doesn't care about you? That's the real question. Ask yourself this question, guys. Why would you want to keep somebody around in your life if, if they don't genuinely want the best for you? You gotta really like dissect your circle, like dissect it seriously you gotta dissect your circle 
they genuinely wanted the best for you, they would show it. You would hear it in their voice, their actions, everything that they do. You would be able to notice, like, you just got to pay attention to the signs. Don't be no fool, but I'm going to just definitely do another video on this. Um, so, yeah, that's about it, guys. I'm out, guys. Bye. And I'm about to go do spoken word right now at the Apache Cafe with Ngap. Um, I think I'm going to include... I think by the time you guys see this, you guys should have seen the uh, the video with me performing spoken word on campus. And it's with an organization called Ngap. It's based on Morehouse. Um, yeah, so... I'm about to meet up with them. Well, I was supposed to meet up with them at 6.45, but I think I'm going to just go to the police and then just meet up with them like that. So I'm about to go do some spoken word. Um, and I actually just wrote the spoken word poem like just now, literally like, oh, sorry, five minutes ago. So my friend had helped me with it. But it was good or whatever. I liked it. I'm looking rough. All right, guys, so I'm on my way, about to get in the car. Yeah, but I think it's really deep. I like it a lot. It's like a, it's like a poem, like a turning point, I guess. You don't really know which way to take it, I guess. Because it starts off as sweet, but then as you get closer to it, it's like really angry. Like you can tell the pain deep inside. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Might be when I get in the car. So like I'm also part of the Soapbox gang known as the Next Great American Boys. And uh, before I do my phone, right? Because like sometimes I just get poetry or whatnot. So before I do my phone, I want y'all to do me a favor, right? So in the gap we have was known as the sauce. So like who here don't know what the sauce is? All right, man, so I know what the sauce is. So like in order to get this sauce, you gotta take some sauce, stir it up, taste that sauce, and it's gonna be too much sauce. Okay? So like I want everybody, if I get something that's kinda saucy, I want y'all like throw some sauce in my way, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so I don't think like, I don't think like all y'all got the sauce yet. So can everybody do me a favor and like take some sauce? Take some sauce. Okay. Stir it up. Stir it up. Taste that sauce? Taste that sauce. I see that's too much sauce. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Queen, as my soul drifts away in the vast sea of undefined beauty, captured by your eyes, the the aura of your essence ascends from your body and protrudes into mine. Forcing its way into my nail clad nostrils, past my tonsils, tickling my esophagus and filling my lungs. Now, at this point, the butterflies in my stomach are now dancing to the beats of the drums of my heart. And when I ask them, may I kiss you? But at last, as our lips connected, I was able to appreciate the alluring acrobatics of her tongue against mine. Aligning my fingers with the center and the base of her spine as I laid her down. Removing the hair ties from my crown, I allowed my hair to flow down the surface of her temple. Navigating. Oh, first time. Hey, most sauce are up, bro. Sauce are up. Oh, you don't know about the sauce? Okay. Right. Would I be a fool if I told him that I love him? Would you think that I'm insane? To love a man who would never love me back and get his pleasure from all of my pain? Would I be a fool if I waited for him to realize my worth? To realize that I have more to offer than thick thighs and tight holes beneath my skirt? Would I be a fool to tell him I love him when I know he just might not give a damn? Am I a fool because I believe I'll never be able to love another man like I love him? It took a lot of courage to write these words with paper and pen, 